In this video, I will discuss two of my favorite stocks that are indirect bets on the future rise of Bitcoin. There are ways that you can play around the rise and fall of Bitcoin and still limit your exposure to its volatility. I consider these companies better than Coinbase, which is set to trade at $100 billion valuation on April 14th. To avoid volatility and still earn huge returns, what if I tell you that there are two companies whose business is built to scale and excel in both up and down Bitcoin markets, as customers tend to trade more when the market moves in either direction. Additionally, even when the markets are flat, one of the companies still earns revenue on account balances due to the interest model. Before moving on, just a quick reminder to join on Discord through Patreon. As a benefit, you will get access to a 3 exchange portfolio and early access to new picks. I will be adding two more stocks to the portfolio this week. Also, you will receive weekly technical alerts like support, resistance, buying and selling levels on each of our portfolio stocks. You can make your short term trading decisions based on these alerts. The link to join is given in the description down below. Now let's get back to the video. There is no doubt about the future growth potential of Bitcoin, but the volatility will be higher. JP Morgan Chase predicts 130k price target for Bitcoin. Pintera Capital predicts Bitcoin will climb as high as 115k by the end of this summer. Danny Scott, CEO of crypto exchange Coin Corner, recently forecasted that Bitcoin would climb as high as 83k by the end of April. Analyst Peter Brand, who previously predicted the 2018 correction in Bitcoin, told Coindesk TV that he sees Bitcoin surging to the range of 180 to 200k by Q3 or Q4 this year. Finally, a report by Wave Financial has a Bitcoin price prediction of 400k by the end of 2025. That prediction also uses a stock to flow model, which the firm says accurately predicted BTC price movement from March 2019 to February 2021. Shamath Pelopathia has a target price of 200k and Kathy Wood predicts even higher conditional on widespread adoption. Now the first company that will massively benefit from Bitcoin trading and security issues is a trading platform provider and security and authenticity provider to the crypto trading big digital assets. US ticker symbol BBKCF and Canadian ticker symbol BIGG. Canadian and US governments will prefer their unique intelligence products. The formula to earn is simple. Higher the crypto amount of trade, more the company will earn. Remember, the earnings of these companies are based on trade volumes of bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies rather than the price level. I first covered it near $1 and it hit a high of 1.98, almost doubled, and is now trading near 1.85. Looking at the upside potential, I am not selling it at all. Let's talk about the market potential first. The global blockchain technology market size was valued at $3 billion in 2020 and is expected to grow at $39.7 billion US dollars in 2025. This multi-billion dollar growing market has very few competitors. The barriers to entry are very high. Big is positioned to take a significant share of the market in 2021 and afterwards. Big Digital Assets operates in the digital assets and blockchain technology industry. The company has two segments, Blockchain Intelligent Group, and netcoins. Blockchain Intelligent Group provides security and accountability to cryptocurrencies. It offers its trusted data analysis and risk scoring capabilities for blockchain, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. It provides two services. The first service is QLUE. Qualitative Law Enforcement Unified Edge is a technology for forensic investigations. It detects suspicious cryptocurrency activity. It visually tracks, traces, and monitors the transactions in the blockchain. This service is designed for law enforcement, investigators, and compliance officers. And the second one is Bitrank Verified. It provides a risk score for financial institutions, cryptocurrency exchanges, Bitcoin ADM operators, audit firms, retailers, and funds. Recently, Big has partnered with NetKey, the only KYC AML regulatory technology provider to integrate their travel rule solution, Transact ID, into Big's compliance suite of tools to allow Big's clients to meet the latest regulatory recommendations put out by FATF, Financial Action Task Force, and strongly endorsed by the G7. Big feels that the travel rule will become a global industry standard and is looking to provide virtual asset service providers, VSPs, with the best compliance solutions possible. Now Netcoin, the digital currency sales brokerage, is the Canadian leader and works with regulators in making the purchase and sales of cryptocurrency to make sure that it will be easily accessible to the mass consumer and investor through compliant and regulated brokerage services. The company is raising 25 million Canadian dollars by offering shares at a high price of 2.1 Canadian dollars, which roughly translates to 1.67 USD. 
Netcoin shows a continuous tremendous trading in January and February. The trading volume grew 2.4x in January on month over month, whereas in February, it grew 54%. Big digital asset subsidiary Netcoins exceeded 100k in daily revenue threshold on February 22, 2021. March numbers will be even higher. Second on the list is Voyager Digital Limited, US ticker symbol VYGVF and Canadian ticker symbol VYGR. Voyager Digital Holdings operates as a crypto asset broker that provides retail and institutional investors with a turnkey solution to trade crypto assets. Voyager's business is uniquely built to scale and excel in both up and down markets as customers tend to trade more when the markets move in directions. Additionally, when the markets are flat, Voyager still earns revenue and account balances due to interest model. VYGVF is targeting the 50 billion AUM asset center management in 2023 as compared to the prior target of 20 billion AUM in 2025 due to the rapid adoption of its platform as a result of interest offerings. Roughly 10% of AUM falls to the bottom line. 5 billion in bottom line means that this stock is massively undervalued at the current rate. You can maintain and grow your account with Voyager and at the same time earn up to 6 to 10 percent interest rate on your account. Key metrics for the month ended February 28, 2021 are unbelievable and March numbers will be even better. Preliminary revenue from operations in excess of 20 million dollars. Net deposits for the month exceeded 400 million dollars. AUM exceeded 1.7 billion. Trades per day for the month averaged more than 70k. New funded accounts for February 2021 were in excess of 70k, with total funded accounts over 175k. Verified users on the platform were approximately 605k. The value of customer trades for February increased to $1.6 billion. The company offers zero commissions and more coins than its competitors. It has launched the easy-to-use mobile and desktop applications for digital assets trading. You must be wondering, if they charge no commission, then how do they make money? Here's a beautiful explanation that I extracted from essay author Elizabeth Kendig's article. When you place an order to buy or sell a cryptocurrency, Voyager provides a listed price that you accept. It then connects your order to 12 exchanges. Unlike securities, which by law must have the same price across all domestic exchanges, cryptocurrencies are priced at variable levels. In other words, the same coin can be listed at two different prices at the exact same time. Voyager uses your order to capitalize on this inefficiency by performing an arbitrage across various exchanges. The profits from such a move would typically surpass any commission or fee, allowing Voyager to provide exceptional pricing. Voyager will thus share the profits from this arbitrage with you in an attempt to execute your order at a lower price than what you agreed to. This business model will likely remain profitable until regulations change or there is too much competition in the arbitrage. Changes to the process would appear in the margins. The company has reported its record performance in Q2 2021. The company reported record $3.5 million revenue in Q2, with a massive growth of 39-49%. 58% of the total revenue is comprised of fees charged on the trading of cryptocurrencies, and the remaining 42% is accounted of interest revenue earned from cryptocurrencies. This shows that the company wouldn't be affected by the price shuffles of cryptocurrencies, rather it charges its fee on the trading volume, whatever the price trend would be. Based on the company's performance in the first two months of 2021, we can guess that this year will be a great one for the company. The company's primary revenues of February have hit $20 million, up 130% from $8.6 million of January's revenues. Similarly, the company has been able to gain the confidence of clients exponentially. The company reported that its assets under management surpassed $230 million in Q2, as compared to $5 million of the same quarter of previous year, representing a 45x jump over that period. The total trading volume exceeded $339.6 million during Q2 2021, as compared to $13.5 million in the same quarter last year, representing a 2400% jump over the period. The company is on its way to improve its AUM. Be surprised to know that the asset center management have surpassed 1.7 billion in February 2021, as compared to 750 million last month, an increase by 127%. The company has reported 42,865 funded accounts as of December 31, 2020. New funded accounts for February were in excess of 70k, with total funded accounts over 175k. If the company will be able to secure 3 million funded accounts, the average account size of 17,000, the $50 billion target will be achieved easily. Look at the successful history on the company's timeline and the current growth of the company. I believe that this target is easy to achieve. 
The company recently completed capital raises of over $146 million, and now its balance sheet is stronger than ever. That will be enough capital for the projected growth and to achieve targets. Let me show you the competitive position of the company. Among its peers, the company is positioned on top of the list. It holds more coins, interest-bearing assets, offer commission free trade, unaffiliated exchange routing, and is publicly traded. This competitive distinction paves the way to show promising results during 2021 and onward. Voyager is on a growth streak, fueled by a rise in brand awareness. The company solves one of the more significant pain points for crypto investors, which is commissions. To illustrate, a 10,000 crypto trade on Coinbase can cost as much as $150 with commissions ranging from 1.5 to 4%. This simply isn't competitive enough for Coinbase to retain customers. Although Coinbase was the first to market, there's plenty of room for Voyager to disrupt the company's non-existent customer service and excessive commissions. For those who don't trade crypto, you might be surprised to know that after paying such high fees, you are given no customer service whatsoever. The global investment assets market is valued at $120 trillion, out of which the crypto market is valued at $1.7 trillion. For this huge market, Voyager Digital has a unique and scalable business model with full funnel technology and operations infrastructure. The company showed an explosive growth in AUM of 45x year over year for the most recent quarter. Currently, the company has $1.7 billion AUM. In addition to this, the company owns more than 55 digital assets and Ontario Securities Commissions and more than 20 interest-bearing assets.